Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this lecture, we're going to learn how to create the caustics in Autodex Maya. Now, I've already created a scene with two different objects, and just let me learn to render it. So, fine. So, this is the render output that I, I was actually getting. Now, this is you can see the light is actually getting scattered after hitting the surfaces, and one is on the opposite side of light, and another one is, uh, uh, I mean, towards the light and also the opposite side of the object. Now, this actually this is a natural phenomenon which actually happens when a light hit upon a surface which is a re reflective or refractive in, in nature so there are two kind of caustics that is um, uh, that we can produce one is the reflective caustics and another one is the refractive caustics now before you going to uh, turn on the caustics and um, jump into the option of the caustics we need to understand that the material is a very important one so I'm just going through the material that I have created I have created one kind of a gold kind of a material not exactly like gold because I haven't put any you know uh, reflection images and all I just made a very basic uh, idea about the uh, reflective one uh, over here and I have already also created a glass like material over here so I'm just going through the, uh, the both of the materials and uh, give you a very basic idea about the settings that I have created so for select like the glass object and by the way I just modeled this one this is just a sphere uh, polygon sphere and I've just extruded each and every individual faces by turning off the key faces together so that it's uh, actually you know getting extruded each and every individual normal direction of the faces so uh, <clears throat> and this is very simple plane that I've clicked okay so if you select the if you select the uh, uh, refractive object which is a become which is actually the glass if you uh, go to the blend one and you can see I've uh, put color as, as normal and full of the transparency values and after that that uh, a lower eccentricity and a very higher specular level of, of 1.2 now after that I have uh, it's just a 0.5 of reflectivity but the most important option was uh, in the ray trace options which is I turn on the refraction and make a refractive index of, of 1.3 so this is the basic uh, uh, important points which you need to you know uh, put in inside of that refractive object uh, that you're going to create and for the refract uh, reflective objects I just created one uh, the color of a very dark chocolate kind of a thing and after that I just don't uh, at all touch the transparency node and also I just uh, lower the uh, eccentricity and also the specular uh, roll off option but in the specular color this is a very interesting one I have done because I need to you know um, uh, target a very higher and very rich and tight uh, uh, specularity point specular point over here so I just did what something something like this as as I, though I select the base color as a yellow but I have increased my value of HSV to 3 which is generally uh, you put one by default but you can actually increase the kind of a trick uh, that you can use for getting a very high res a higher uh, specular values so I put it on three if you increase this the, the, the effect of the caustics will also uh, uh, get something some way up and I also increase my reflectivity generally if, uh, one is a full reflective object but yes uh, in Maya there is an option I mean to increase your values you can put the values way up according to your requirement and I can show you that how this reflectivity uh, value to you know putting up to a reflectivity more than one can help you to generate some more caustics uh, without you know uh, increasing your caustic values and all so this is one kind of a, a very nice trick so I'll just uh, uh, show you after when I get it, giving you the basic idea about the uh, lights and all and later on I have created a spotlight over here and the spotlight is actually emitting the photons and all so let's see how we can actually generate this uh, caustics thing so I'm just uh, putting this into a layer maybe it's off and if I hit render you'll see there is no light right now so 
now I'm going to create another one create lights and say spotlight okay and hit D that's it to get the idea over here fine now if I uh, render my scene what is going to happen and uh, I'm in mental ray. I'm in already in mental ray. Um, if you uh, if you don't know about mental ray, then it's very difficult for you for, to follow up this one because you need mental ray for the or, uh, the caustic thing because um, caustic is the indirect elimination part, so it cannot pr produce in uh, uh, my software. So you have to have the uh, mental ray turn on. Uh, to turning on the mental ray, go to Windows Preferences and Plugin Manager, and you can have your Maya to MR plugins over there. If you don't have, then you have to re uh, reinstall it. So uh, turn on the Maya 2 uh, MR plugin and you just uh, turn your uh, render engine to mental ray. Okay, fine. After that, uh, hit the mental ray, it render button, and you can see that uh, your glass, the scene is actually having lit up. Just to give you a better view of it. Fine. So this is the uh, output that I'm right now getting. Uh, there is no uh, uh, shadows on, so I just uh, move on to the shape node of light, and I'm just turning on the uh, the shadow. Yes. Step them shadows. I'm not uh, going very much into the. Uh, uh, shadow details and all because that is not my concern right now so if you right now if you hit you can hit the render button you can see that uh, the shadows are coming but there is no reflective caustics at all or refractive caustics at all which is actually is not natural so uh, how to turn them on now first of all uh, you need to go to the uh, mental ray section of the selected spotlight and uh, you know, uh, you have to turn on the caustics. I uh, sorry, uh, the emit photons option from the caustics and global animation section. Just turn on the emit photons. Just keep them according to the basic structures. I will tell you how to you know uh, uh, manipulate them uh, later on. Just uh, go and hit a render and see what is the basic or default output what is coming. You can see we, we are getting uh, already we are getting the uh, the caustics uh, straight away because uh, we have actually put some of the uh, settings on the on the uh, uh, reflective one like higher reflectivity and also the specular value with a very high value so there is one reason which is which you are actually getting this uh, by default if you're not getting if I'm not if I'm not putting it to one and uh, maybe you can leave this one though and if you drag this area and uh, render it now you can see that uh, a very lesser amount of reflectivity is coming down so i haven't touched the uh, the caustic section at all or uh, or the photon section at all but uh, in my settings in in the render settings option what uh, in the indirect lighting section uh, you need to turn on the caustics which is already on in my cases and now let's see uh, what will gonna happen if I turn on the photons but not turning on the caustics you can have that the, the shadows are still there uh, but my caustics are not showing because I haven't turned on the caustics in my render settings so that is another point first of all is the, the most uh, two, two, two important points one is the light that you have already created the spotlight and you have to turn on the emit photons option and also from the uh, render settings you have to turn on the caustics so these are the two uh, two things the by default value of the accuracy is 100 and the radius is zero so uh, I have increased the radius according to my scene so I just in render again and to see how we can actually getting it you can see that uh, even in the very very basic settings the refractive caustics are hitting very easily but they're not the reflective one because I, I I have to work on the reflective caustic so as 
if there is a scene where actually um, I have two kind of different objects, like one is a refractive one, another one is a reflective one, and I need both the caustics with the same light, then we have to work on the uh, shader more rather than the working on the light or the render settings because you are already getting this uh, uh, basic amount of uh, you know uh, caustics over here so you cannot you know charge up uh, more in the the photon intensity and the exponent level and all so what this uh, photon intensity do is is if you increase the photon intensity it will increase the intensity of the uh, uh, um, the uh, caustics also in this case and uh, which will be very you know uh, tricky to uh, create I mean uh, to handle because you have already uh, two different kind of uh, caustics uh, object over here so I'll just increase 8 from to 10 and I'll also decrease the exponent level which is actually work like a decay and which means if you decrease the exponent value the brightness of the caustics will get up and uh, if you increase the exponent value the brightness of the caustic will go down so if I made it 2.5 and if you hit render now you can see that see that the amount of the caustics is getting reduced so this is where I am just going to be put it down so I need because I need the this particular reflective caustics to be happen so just uh, taking this uh, area and uh, select uh, hit the red region option you can see right now if I hit the full render and you can see the reflective caustics are actually getting uh, you know visible slowly because I reduced the exponent so they were getting popping up but I cannot reduce this much because you can see that refractive caustics is also getting affected so I have to work on something else which actually helped me to increase this va particular values so first of all I'm hitting 1.7 maybe now this is also uh, depend on the uh, size of the cone that I'm using for the uh, um, uh, for the light because if you're increasing the lights your photons emitted from from this particular light uh, it's getting you know uh, wastage a lot it's not hitting the object so some of the photons might go through middle of this object some of them will gonna hit other uh, blank areas which is no use actually so you have to be very very careful because the photon this particular uh, um, object is uh, uh, sorry the, this particular light is going to be act as a photon gun so where actually it's throwing or shooting the photon rays or photon points so how you can actually manage that you have to go to you know Look through selected and you can see this yes this my my position of the object objects are absolutely fine because uh, they are exactly inside of that cone angle of that particular area so this is absolutely uh, fine for my side and okay so let's get back to the emit photon option uh, I have already increased the uh, photon intensity and also decreased the exponent and this is my last result that I, I have got but here you can see this I this one is actually blowing it up so I have to increase from 1.5 to 1.7 and if I hit render again and I can see that's uh, the the intensity of the caustics of the refractive objects has been reduced and so so as the reflective but I need to you know pumped up the reflectivity also so what can I do I have to go to my uh, reflective objects to blend to uh, shader and I have to pump my reflectivity option for around three maybe so now if you hit uh, render region render region is very interesting you know it saves a lot of time when you are working on like this and you can see this I have already pumped up my reflectivity to three and immediately the reflective caustics is actually working uh, exactly like uh, I wanted but the refractive caustics hasn't been affected that much because my reflectivity is not a refractivity or the other things as or not hasn't been uh, affected because I haven't done anything with the uh, light and all so now you can understand that what was the what was the difference between these two and just I'm uh, taking a good uh, view of uh, the two images I just keeping this image and I'm just reducing this and also again hit render
now you can understand the uh, difference between these two because uh, this one has been you know created on reflectivity one and this one has been created on reflectivity three so you can see there is no difference almost at all uh, no changes are very 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 minor changes in the refractive object but not in the reflective objects so I'm just going coming back to the, the three option of what I have done so this is the uh, major thing that we have to look after after that I'm just going to walk through the the caustics option now in the render settings so you have to turn on the caustics action and the render accuracy is a very tricky one if you are not satisfied with the render or maybe it's coming a kind of a noisy or something you can increase the accuracy level more than 100 because this will enhance your render output uh, render quality also but remember that increasing this accuracy level is also you know hit you to uh, to a more rendering time so be very very careful regarding that and you can use the radius and the merge distance of of this uh, of this render setting and you can see that some of the uh, photon points has been still been you know not been merged it's it's like you know circular uh, blotches is as blotches is actually happening so you can uh, increase the radius to one and if you I'm just saving this also and just hit render And you can see this uh, it's already been you know merged you can see this is this one is the previous one with zero and this one is uh, merging merging up the uh, the splotches over there so this is way uh, this is how you are actually you know walking on on the on the uh, caustics creating the two different kind of caustics the same things actually happening for the refractive objects also you can control the refractive uh, refractivity over there and it will just uh, you know uh, create uh, something really beautiful from from the the basic settings that you have so you can uh, go to the quality and we have right now in the custom quality uh, and you can really go to the production quality basic and after that just check because uh, the moment you hit the pre preset of the production quality your indirect illumination will get a uh, switch off because that's a by default value so you have to be very, very careful regarding this using these quality presets so I turn on the caustics and uh, make the radius to one and uh, just check uh, the other uh, things which you have already maybe you know quality if you wanted to change or something that you can go and hit render and you can see the result from the production quality uh, and realizing production quality fine great so I'm getting my uh, uh, its uh, output exactly what I was looking for this is the the idea of the uh, caustics in Autodix Maya hope you enjoy this and please uh, visit our YouTube channel and uh, for the for the for more tutorials and all and also uh, follow us on Twitter and uh, like our Facebook page so thank you very much